These are words that have been used to describe, to measure, to understand social media. But I mean, when it comes down to it, it's all really about human connections. The four P's have been used uh, for marketers as a guide for over 50 years. And having people at the center of them is key to going beyond a company that just sells things and makes things to a company that actually cares about the people that it impacts on a daily basis. For Samsung, it's people holding their phones, people watching TV, people enjoying a Blu-ray. And so being able to meet and understand their needs, you have to really put them at the center of those four P's. So my name is Sam Contreras. I'm the Sam so uh, social media manager for Samsung Electronics. I started in January of this year. And it basically happened by me sending a tweet two months before I joined to that Samsung tweet just saying, hey, can I do an interview with you? I'd like to learn about what you're doing. The conversation moved forward. And this was for a, for a podcast that I did. The conversation moved forward. And about a week and a half later, I had an offer. So I quit my consulting position that I used to have. I moved from Texas to New Jersey, right across the Hudson with my wife and my two dogs after selling a house, selling a car. But the reason I tell you all this is because when I saw where Samsung wanted to go in terms of social media, I knew that I wanted to be a part of that transformation. So Bitstone is quoted saying that Twitter's future was going to be helping companies be better companies. And I think everybody here agrees that Twitter is a platform that is able to help companies of any size, of any kind, to be more transparent, to communicate with people, to be part of their lives, um, and even to create more profits. Of course, people don't join Twitter to talk to companies, with exceptions, usually not good ones. Um, people are on Twitter because they want to share their lives. They want to connect with each other. They want to know what's happening in the world. They are on Twitter because Twitter is fun. And so as, as you get immersed in Twitter, you start seeing those connections, you start seeing 140 characters becoming friendships, relationships. And so I'm going to step back a little bit. Samsung did not really have a, a direct relationship with most of its customers for most of its history. Because Samsung used to see its customers as other companies, vendors, carriers, retailers. And so except for email CRM and discussions on forums in the last 10, 15 years, Samsung wasn't really reaching people directly. And so Twitter was really instrumental in setting our tone for being customer-centric in our social media approach. Twitter has really helped us become a part of pictures like this one. So if you're going to be customer-centric, you need to add value. And everybody talks about adding value, but how can you add value? One way is to look at the five C's which you might have heard about from their perspective. So what kind of community do they want to be a part of? What kind of conversations are they engaging in? What kind of conversations do they want to engage with their brand? What kind of uh, collaboration are they interested in? Do they want to do UGC? Is running a contest, is that something that they actually care about? What kind of connections do they have? And what kind of content are they wanting to share, create, um, retweet? And you have to remember that not everybody is equally social. I think that everybody is aware of the social technographics. You know, we have a lot of people just being spectators on this side, just watching and lurking. But we see a shift towards more creators, more conversationalists, and Twitter is, has been able to help enable that transformation. You also got to remember that everyone is a customer. Uh, for Samsung, it's kind of easy because I'm guessing many of you here at some point have bought a Samsung product. But I think it's important to not see people as customers versus non-customers, instead see everybody as a customer or a potential customer. And that way you can help them, whether it's the first time, it's the time they're returning to you, or maybe they're low customers, which is the best, but maybe they're unsatisfied, and that's one of the most exciting parts about being on Twitter, is being able to turn people around. That brings me to my next point, which is different needs need a service mindset. So I'm part of the digital marketing team, I need to think like I'm part of customer service and beyond so that when people want to shop, they're looking for a product, or they're owning a product and they want to learn more about it, or they're trying to fix it so that we can help them. So when you start on Twitter, if you haven't started or if you're still there in the, in the beginning phases, you want to 
want to start with your business goals. What are your business goals? Then what are your marketing goals? Then that flows into your social media goals, which here, for example, on a very high level, it's I'm building a community, I'm engaging with people, I'm actively listening. And that brings down to the initiatives, which give me things like conversations, integrating with your role marketing, monitoring, POC reports. And finally, you want to make sure that you're measuring all that and then it tracks back to your business goals. So share a voice, sim score, how many ad replies, how many retweets, things like that. Because sometimes those little wins will keep you motivated for the big wins, which might be more long term. So another way of looking at it is you're leveraging these tools. Twitter, which is a very simple website. And all these applications, mobile, web, desktop, applications that you're using, and you are engaging with people in near real time to try to convert them to become believers and customers for your company. And finally, you want to transform them into becoming loyal brand advocates. That should be one of your goals, and it's definitely one of our goals. And of course, that happens from, from people's point of view. It's not something you can force, but a, a long-term commitment to providing value and good experiences can help create that. So what does a conversation look like? Having an idea of the kind of messages that you want to put out there, like Samsung cares about people, Samsung makes it easier, Samsung creates cool technology, will help you craft questions, will help you craft tweets, like how's your day, do you need help, what does it mean to be a geek? And all of a sudden, you get a flow of all kinds of questions, comments, things you would you probably would never find in a focus group. And what you should do when you get that is not just leave it there or write it on a report, but keep it going and never take it for granted that people are spending the time to talk to a company. It's not something that happened 20 years ago the way it's happening today. And it's definitely not something that happens outside of Twitter the way it happens on Twitter. So these are some of the things that we're doing. We have three main accounts, Samsung Tweets, which is the account that I personally manage, and this is a brand Samsung Electronics account. We have our mobile account, which is Samsung Mobile US, and that focuses on smartphones, phones, you know, Android, things like that. And then we have Samsung Service, which is focused completely on customer service. And we collaborate and we talk publicly and privately to be able to be consistent and help people. And you know, we're doing things like getting, making sure we're all verified, making sure we're finding the right tools to talk to each other, and doing whatever we can so people can be helped. We also have a big Twitter icon on our Samsung.com website, so if you go to the home page, this is one of the first things you see. We allow people to share a product page, a reviews page, and even individual reviews, because people are starting to share all kinds of things, so you, we're trying to let them share whatever they want on our website, and this is one of the first things we're doing. And stay tuned, because Samsung.com the goal is to have more social features like this one. This is our Facebook page. We have a tab, and we're feeding our tweets in there, and we're letting people retweet and share it to their Facebook wall. This is a never-before-seen mock screenshot of Season Make Look. Uh, it's, a, it's a branded channel. I don't know if you're familiar with Season Make or Season Make Look, but the idea is you have a branded channel, and you have a list of users that you're recommending in the company. So this one says, you know, check out the real-time updates from Samsung. And then we have a list of users, like Chris Brogan. And of course, we have our own, our own 